connect. Well, you just don't have anyone around to time. Normally we might. We haven't lost yet. Disconnected from server. <laughs> Disconnected from server. Connected. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, are we live, by the way? Okay, hello, you guys. Uh, uh, my name is Issue, and we're about to see the third map. I'm actually not sure what the decider is. I heard it's uh, OSPDM5. Deep inside. Is that true? Uh, can you give me the password, please? That would be awesome. Okay, you sound ill, and I love the password. Yeah. Anyway, um, looked a bit that the M14 went highly in favor of the Hungarians. Uh, actually, just saw the yeah, the last quarter, so to speak, and it wasn't really convincing. But new map, new luck, three maps in total. So and no, I actually wasn't really surprised that UK didn't uh, like one DM20 as is as that is their home map and well I checked the scores and I was actually pretty surprised that the frag difference wasn't that high so it will be interesting to see how they perform. I know that the Hungarians are really strong on OSPDM5 uh, OSPDM6. Um, I've played against them and they are indeed really good. And. <laughs> and Disrepute has just removed OSPDM6, so that map is out. That was a very wise decision. And OSPDM5 and Dreadfall, that's gonna be very interesting. Obviously, Dreadfall being the newer one, so it depends on. Who has got the better training on it? I'd I'd go with a SPDM5, but I don't know if it really suits the UK play style. Will be interesting to see. And I think the Hungarians pick as they have the bigger frag difference, or whatever the rule may be. Choose your destiny. <laughs> Word. Come on, pick already. <laughs> They're probably debating. Oh, what should we take? Oh, it's dreadful place. There you go. All right. Old Quake 3 map, actually. So it's not that new, per se. Maybe new to the Quake Life players. Although I have to admit I didn't play it in Quake 3, but still, it's a map made for Quake 3. Um, slightly adapted for the Quake Life Quake style, uh, for the Quake Life play style, if you will. And yeah, obviously a one power up map. So in comparison to DM14, um, only one power up, then namely the quad. And we've got a similar to the area at DM7 sort of we've got the red armor um, as the red armor has loads of entrances there are two three actually three entrances below in the front and then there's one in the back and there's one high so uh, once you take the red armor you don't necessarily want to stay there you just rather want to move out and use the resources that you've just gathered as just waiting there um, the other team is not likely to cess it so when you have the red armor you can easily spread out to the to the mega health time that although going to the mega health obviously is a bit big risk as the area is very open so whenever you go there i'd recommend you go there with two people or have a really big stack or time it so that you are can make sure that you get there rather quickly 
um, as there will probably be railers and it's so yeah as I said it's a really big open area so there will be loads of attacks whenever you go for it and then there's the yellow armor um, not much to say about that other than the fact that there's a rocket launcher near the yellow armor so it's uh, always nice to have the yellow armor as well especially when you are not in, in, in control of the map and I see players getting ready so only Vor is not ready yet and I will cycle through the players so I might not be on uh, Trance's point of view but I'm just gonna hope that's working out I'm um, specking Rax, who's shot a really good performance on uh, DM20, I think. He was first and hasn't really got the best weapon to, to start with. And he's actually... Is he getting a call to the red armor? Yeah, he's actually at the red armor, but he is probably not going to get very far with the Nate spam here against the Railer. But so far, he's been alive, so not too bad. And maybe one of his mates could come by and, and secure that next threat, because it's going to be very important for the... For the quad, and that's Smoggy's jumping over. Obviously, he can't reach the platform because against the machine gun, you will slow down and eventually fall fall down there. Nice pummel here, but still for X, no weapon, and there's the quad squad. Quad is open, and who takes it? Um, I don't know how to say that name, but Cyrus takes it, and there's one good chaff kill. Red is up, and you should know that. You should know that the second uh, red armor is up very soon for grabs. There you go. He's going in, going to the yellow armor area, trying to grab as many frags as possible. And he actually might as well just have taken that jump pad and taken the higher route. Um, but maybe he suspected someone being low camping at the rail. And now, what has run out? But still, this repute is camping there actually. He's eating loads of shaft. And that was actually a pretty nice attack and maybe a bit out of position by, by Disrepute. But you saw that the uh, that Team UK uh, actually is in control of the red armor at the moment. Okay, okay, let me go to Rax. Okay. Okay, Dom, I'm at Rex. Rex is actually doing a great job. He's dealing tons of damage to the opposing team. And actually, he's just fighting against two people as his, uh, one of his mates comes by and helps him out. And uh, I would have actually gone back to, to grab the uh, rocket launcher, but then again, red armor is very important and it was it has just been grabbed, so he may have gotten a call from his teammates saying, hey, dude, we need your help there. Anyway, there's still one red for the next red arm, and oh, Dash <laughs> making an easy frag on Rex here as he walks into his rockets, and once again, very nice rocket frag, and I don't think Dash is going to be the quad runner here, but nonetheless, he's mo moving out to the red armor. Taking the higher route, still 10 seconds, the team is uh, setting up, there's Deuce going down, but with him, he takes uh, the opponent, Cyrus off the spawn. Uh, nearly killed Deuce there. No, no, Cyrus once again takes the quad but gets tracked down by Vor, who's doing an excellent job here with the rocket launcher and is actually collecting tons of weapons, so uh, he might just share those with his mates. Or he's going in very aggressively at that red armor. He really wanted to, uh, con they really wanted to control that room after the quad. Yeah, no, I'm at G Gandhi now. The, the puff switched. Is that correct? Yes, that's, that's weird. Okay. I do apologize for that. I got... Follow, follow killer, follow power up. Yeah, me too. I'm a distribute. Okay, he was synced. Follow it. Alright, distribute really has a nice deck. Just grab the rail, but... Uh, Mega health has been taken, he should actually know that. He should have heard it, actually. From that distance, he should have heard it. He should really, yeah, drop down. Uh, he had a rail out, but he's so gonna go down in that skirmish. Three versus one, there was nowhere he could have, uh, yeah, there was nowhere he could have survived that. And it looks to me that, um, Team UK is, like, doing a great job holding that red. And also spreading out at times to the rail, especially to the rail. And Vol actually has got a good mega health timing, so 
we might have seen just disrepute telling him the time earlier as he saw that or as he heard it being picked up so excellent timing by team uk here denying those uh, very essential resources and 15 seconds to fall. Dash is setting up, or he's surely gonna go down here. Deuce in here, spamming rockets into that higher corridor, making sure nobody um, just rushes in without taking any damage. And I'm pretty sure Gandhi's not gonna get very far, but a little dance here in the mid area. And oh my god. Team uh, Hungary once again is taking the court, so that means that Team UK still hasn't had a court. And Considering the frag difference, actually, the UK could have done worse, and now the quad is uh, is dead and did maybe four frags. So, if uh, Team UK is able to concentrate more on the on the on the quads and maybe grab one, I'm pretty sure they can uh, make it, you know, close the frag difference, which is at the moment not too big, but uh, yeah. Anyway, Dash is, has a really big stack here, so he should maybe call for his mates, and they might as well just attack the red if they want to. But I'm still trying to figure out how team uh, or how the Hungarians play this map because it looks to me that they don't play that um, red armor centered, and I'm getting PM'd in IRC. Please stop. So yeah, yeah. So Deuce, I'm actually on Deuce right now. Who's at the red? So, my suspicions may be correct that uh, Team UK is doing a great job on holding the red armor area, which uh, prohibits the other team from uh, getting too many frags. And actually, Deuce is doing a great job here, dodging some good rockets, laying out some excellent shaft uh, work here, and going back to the red armor just in time to secure it. 50 is up for grabs. Can he kill Cyrus uh, before he takes the red armor? No, he could not. And I'm pretty sure that Deuce didn't like the outcome of that, but it's more important that the red armor area is still safe. And as we saw here, uh, Deuce having a rail, actually dropping it, and rail is a very... Huh, I hate that spawn. Seriously, they should really fix the spawns here because um, he just got Deuce just got killed and Cyrus just spawned there, so never mind. Uh, okay, once again, Team Hungaria has got the uh, has got the the quad, but the mega health was taken. I'm not sure who took it, either the the enemy or one of his teammates. So, but nonetheless, <laughs> Team Hungary still has got the quad, and Cyrus really shouldn't be that afraid of the machine gun from Deuce. Uh, he could have easily, you know, used the three seconds he wasted there doing more damage. And I'm gonna check RC. Maybe my microphone is not good, so I just want to make sure. Ow. Okay, never mind. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're back on uh, Cyrus here, just grabbing the shaft, and still. Uh, it looks to me like the Team Hungary is really happy just yeah hovering around the yellow mega health area But they it looks like they're uh, Planning an attack here on the red well timed very good attack with three people Into the room making sure they actually grab that red armor. Obviously it was up uh, For them so uh, either they've timed it well or they just were lucky <laughs> So, But then again Quad is up in 40 seconds, so Excellent. Team UK looks like they are not in control of the red room, and the red is still up for grabs, so not, and a job, okay, it was just taken, so it will be interesting to see who took it, actually, and that person may be uh, the quad guy, and there's a weird skirmish here in the middle area, Rex actually winning with uh, some ridiculous nade spam, 3 HP left, 50 HP bubble not there, Quad in 10 seconds, I'm pretty sure Rex is gonna go down pretty uh, soon as there is no health available. But given the fact that he only had 3 HP, he's done a great job securing this area with Team UK already setting up very early. And Deuce takes it, and Deuce actually hasn't got the, uh, actually hasn't got a red or any armor whatsoever. Um, but let's see what he can actually do with that. And he's gonna be really, really cautious here at the red armor area because he knows if he just r rushes into that, he might just uh, eat a rocker or something. So he's playing it really, really safe uh, from the distance using rail. And actually, red is up soon, so he might just stick around here for a little while, just making sure this room is actually safe. 
So this time, the priority for Team UK or Dusen and especially was to secure the red armor area and not just, uh, you know, run around and get frags. So once again, Team UK really playing very red armor centered and sadly it's not entirely paying off so far because they missed out on a lot of quads. But if they keep up doing this, I'm pretty sure that eventually they will get a really good quad run and then they may be able to uh, tie it up. But Team Hungaria is playing really well um, with uh, just the, yeah, basically the, the resources they have, the yellow and the, and the uh, mega health. And I am on Rex, trying to get a shot onto Dash that so was a bit off. Uh, he may try to get a timing on that Mega Elf, but he's very, very off, if that's what his incentive is. And I'm pretty sure he did. And he may have gotten a call from his teammates that there are some uh, enemies in that red armor. And Deuce should really come back and grab a weapon as he just spawned next to Rex, already rushing to that red uh, to that quad. But Rex seems to be the guy that's going to be uh, may the potential maybe potentially the guy that grabs up the quad and looks good. He's uh, got really really fortunate weapon choice here as that shaft deals out tons of damage when someone takes up the jump pad and Rex now with uh, really. The only thing that he needs may be some shaft ammo. Shaft ammo is not up. Actually, the lower route where he just went there is uh, some some slugs or some ammo for the shaft. Now he's, uh, Rex is trying to get some kills here, but all the enemies are running away. Oh, there is Cyrus coming from a bit, uh, from a boss, but Rex is surviving only with 37 HP. So props to him. I have no idea. Well, how should I have known that? Strike. Okay, let's call him Strike. Nonetheless, I predicted that uh, Team UK needed a good quad run to actually tie this up again. And they did. So they did really well. But now, it looks like Team Hungary is in control of the uh, Red Armor Room. And yes, they are. So... This repute is just uh, looking in what's going on there. He may... Uh, would actually be a good idea if someone uh, rushes in and just tries... Well, not rush in, but figure out when the uh, red armor actually spawns. Because if they rush and the red armor is not up, that's bad. So if they time it correctly, they can just grab the red armor in the process while they attack. But meanwhile, Gandhi trying to get a facial rocket on Deuce who's standing on the platform. Obviously that's gonna be a very very tricky rocket here. And only with a machine gun available he's really trying to dodge Deuce's um, uh, Deuce's shotgun. Who's moving towards the quad area. Obviously quad is up for grabs. One HP dash is uh, raining down loads of damage here to the opposing team namely Team UK who's leading by nine frags. The the, re uh, the quad is actually up and uh, Team UK is uh, debating who should take this very quad and Deuce is the man once again and it will be interesting to see if he will stick around for the red armor and he's actually not he doesn't waste the uh, time that is on that quad only a few seconds left, but well, he's going back, getting red. That was actually a good um, way to not lose the quad time entirely. Namely, just move out a bit, get a frag, move back to grab the grab the red. That was actually very nice teamwork. As one of his mates were uh, standing there at the red, probably telling Deuce to come back, grabbing the red armor, or to grab the red armor. And Deuce, just in time, back for the next red armor. I'll pick it up gladly. And swoop de whoop, there's another frag. Well done. Ouch, that was a facial rocket. And Deuce. Really? Um, he's doing an excellent job just using the uh, red armor resource, moving out and doing tons of damage. And he's always back in time for the next red armor, but this time actually his team moved out a bit too much. 
um, and the enemy or the team Hungary took the red armor, so that was a bit unfortunate. And Deuce is. Uh, armor count slightly but surely went down and now Dash is the guy that killed Deuce who had an excellent quad run and Deuce on uh, Disrepute on the other hand has got really nice weapons rail shaft and he will be ha he will have an easy uh, task defending the Z armor and add this quad because uh, Team Hungry is just rushing in way too late and they've done that in the past, I'm not sure, if, they've probably done it in the past three quarts or so, that they don't set up early enough, and Team UK is doing a great job just doing that. Um, because attacking the Red Armour is really painful. You can lock down the area so well with spam, because they're literally only uh, three entrances. One is via the jump pad, and two are via the, uh, yeah, like the corridors to the left and the right that are connected to that room. So, yeah, I think Team Hungry should just try to get to the court earlier, therefore getting the lead back, taking the court like they did in the, the in the beginning. They set up, they set up way earlier, way earlier, and actually got it with no major problems. So 136 to 117, rack up is pretty high so far, 4 minutes into the game, this is definitely possible for Team Hungary, but first of all they have to get that red armor back into control, and then again really try to get a decent quad run, or two decent quad runs, if you will. And we are specking Gandhi right now. <laughs> um, who's tried to get some shots on Jarex there. I would have uh, expected him to die earlier, but with a new shotgun in place for quick life. Can be a pain in the ass to kill the opponent on long range, which uh, Gandhi just has proven. Anyway, this time actually Team Hungary is setting up for the court earlier. Are they listening to me? And. This looks really, really promising, but Team UK is maybe uh, executing a really nice strategy, namely two attacking via high and two attacking take, uh, two attacking uh, via the jump pad. But it didn't really uh, suffice here in that uh, uh, quad grab that Smoggy did. But nonetheless, Smoggy doesn't really have much resources, so one rocket onto his feet and he might die. But so far he's been, uh, I think he made like 4 frags at least, and he should really be careful here. 81 HP. Oh, that nearly was an air nade. That would have been lovely. So close though. So close. And with the remaining time, maybe Smoggy should have tried to get back to the red armor area. However, I'm not sure if he wasn't informed about when it spawned, but it seems to me that he really wanted to stick around that middle area, trying to get as many frags as possible. Yeah, only 10 frags, so well done Team Hungary. One more quad to go, definitely possible for them. Oh, nice by... whose name I forgot. <laughs> Stry, yeah, nice work by Stry here, and that plasma gun was also pretty top notch. 27% plasma gun. And Team UK is calling a tactical timeout. I would have ex uh, expected that, but it's ping that is causing causing this unfortunate delay. <laughs> uh <laughs> You should notice rather quickly when you have that ping. Yeah, the last quad is gonna be really essential. I mean, seven frags, the last quad has to go, well, to either of the teams if they want to win, if you ask me. Other than that, it's not gonna happen. 45 seconds to the next quad. I am so excited.
right. Uh, fortunately, Rax has not been able to resolve his ping issues. I'm gonna take a zip of my protein shake. Cheers. A one minute, he says. <coughs> Sorry. And I assume that he's downloading something. Or his sister is surfing, or his brother. Something along the lines. He's not dropped from the survey yet, so. Hold on there, Tiger. Prepare to fight. Three, two. Are we going to one, pause fight. the game? Yeah. Well done. Good. Saved. Well, not much going on. Prepare to fight. Three, two, <laughs> one, fight. Okay, we've... Is he going to play with ping 100, uh, 120? I'm not sure. Maybe he's just trying it. Maybe he wasn't able to resolve the issue. Um, no pun intended. Um, only a couple of frags that are between those team, uh, two teams. And... What is up in 20 seconds? Let's see. Team UK already in the room, but... Um, nice rail from that player. <laughs> it's from that, from Strike. We just goes down to Distributor. Distributor is standing on the call, but it's not up in like... It's up now! Take it! Deuce takes it actually, he could be the man in this matchup. Eight frags difference, and there's one facial rail that he will never forget in his life. That went right through him, and Deuce once again is really slowing down his gameplay when uh, he's about to enter that red armor room. Although he's just retreating, and it looks to me that he's really playing it safe, and really nice rail there. Uh, it's hitting 50% rail at the moment, 38 LG for your information, and he's trying to get as many uh, quick rail shots onto Team Hungary as he can. And what I really like about his play is that he's not exposing himself too much, he's just using um, his weapons to his advantage, so he's just staying on mid distance, not receiving too much damage from uh, uh, people rushing him. That way he uh, was able to survive for a very long time and I really cherish this gameplay and it looks to me that the last quad run was wins. the deciding factor in this matchup. Very much GG. Team Hungary versus Team UK. To, um, Team UK winning 2-1 to one in maps. First DM20. Uh, then they lost DM14, Grim Dungeons, and then they won um, Dreadful Place. And I thank everyone for listening. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to cast the other maps, but other than that, I'm gonna say thank you and 